Residents who lived at Mount Hood Senior Living in Sandy are still trying to find a new home after the state suddenly shut down the residential and memory care facility on Friday following DHS inspections that found several health and safety violations. The families of residents, including 71-year-old Bonnie Everett, who has dementia, say they were moved miles away without permission from family. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for K2 News at 11. I'm Barry Mangold. Tonight we're hearing from other families who say they're now trying to move their grandfather out of Oregon because of this ordeal. On Friday night, Melissa Fisher found out that her aunt, Bonnie Everett, had to quickly leave her home at Mount Hood Senior Living in Sandy. They only had a few hours to react. They were trying to do something in an immensely short period of time that it couldn't go well. Judy Smith says her 87-year-old grandfather, who also has dementia, was moved without anyone from the state telling her. No one has called me. No one has emailed nothing. The Oregon Department of Human Services suspended the license of the 50-bed resident and mental care facility earlier on Friday after state inspectors found eight violations. First, failing to provide a safe environment in connection with a mental care resident dying last month after walking away from the facility. Plus, another violation for inadequate fencing. Two violations for an unsanitary kitchen risking cross-contamination and giving residents food outside their diet. DHS shut down the facility's kitchen on January 23rd. One violation for failing to properly train staff and another for not monitoring residents. DHS noted one patient fractured her back after falling multiple times. DHS also noted two violations for not properly managing medication and not following doctor's orders, adding that residents were not getting their treatment. A staff member said Saturday that Mount Hood Senior Living intends to appeal those findings in hopes of reopening to residents. Meanwhile, families of residents say they are shocked. I feel like the facility has failed the patients. When I read that list, I just, my, my stomach sank, and it made me ask what else weren't they doing. Fisher says as concerning as the violations are, the state closed the facility within a few hours and transferred her Aunt Bonnie to another facility in Oregon City without the family's permission and without important legal and medical information. I can't believe this is the way that they transported somebody who has cognitive as well as health issues. I cannot understand why DHS would think that we would be accepting of any decision made without our involvement uh, this quickly. And Smith says she worries whether her grandfather is getting his medication. I'm very upset and I don't know who to be upset with um, just because I feel like the state has failed him. I feel like the facility has failed him. And we are still working to learn more about what happened from Mount Hood Senior Living, but the facility has not yet responded to our messages. We are also have been, we have been reaching out to Oregon DHS all weekend long, asking why exactly residents had to leave with only a few hours notice and why some family members were never contacted. While we work to get you those answers, a DHS spokesperson did say about this, about the violations that it found at the facility. The licensing survey began in January. Prior to the licensing survey, Mount Hood Senior Living was required to develop a safety plan. Safety plans are intended to protect residents at a as a facility is given an opportunity to get into regulatory compliance. When ODHS takes a regulatory action, such as an order of suspension, it weighs that decision very carefully, including the potential for that action to be disruptive to residents.